In the time I've had a YouTube channel, one of the most common questions I get is how do I get a setup that looks like yours? People have been always asking me how do I install these programs, how do I, you know, configure this program or something like that, and obviously that's what a lot of my video content is on. But a couple of years ago, as many of you may well know, I put out LARBS, that's, you can get it at larbs.xyz, and the idea behind it was just a series of, sh series of shell scripts that can deploy dot files and install required programs and set up se system settings. Relatively a simple script. I mean, it has like a nice little dialogue interface, but just a little script to set stuff up for you. And of course, you can go to LARBS, or well, specifically LARBS.xyz, and install it yourself on any kind of Arch-based distro. And I've had this for a while. I know a lot of you guys use it. I'll, I'll see people online using it. So it's pretty much out there, and I know it's easy to fork as well. Um, anyway, as time has progressed, as many of you know, I've been using DWM, and some of you have noticed that I'm actually not even using Arch anymore. I'm actually using Void Linux. I think I might do a, a video on that again. Um, you know, two or two years or so ago, I switched to Void Linux, but that was only for a period, and I went back to Arch. But um, either way, the script, of course, LARBS only works on Arch and Arch-based distros by default, so it works on Manjaro and some other things as well. Um, but uh, I. I'm thinking about basically forking the project or splitting it in half because really I'm using Void Linux more nowadays and I'm probably going to continue using DWM. So uh, there's now going to be, a, I guess, a legacy version of LARBS that's going to have Arch Linux that can be installed on any kind of Arch-based dis Arch distro that has i3 and all the stuff that I've had on my channel before. Um, but I'm going to be putting out a new version of LARBS pretty soon. In fact, it's sort of already in alpha testing. You can try it out if you really want. But um, once you install Void Linux, which the Void Linux install process is actually a little easier because they actually have like an auto installer for it. But once you set up Void Linux, you can actually run a new LARB script. You can get it at the, get it at the website. Uh, the link is there, or at least the command is there. And um, it will really just do the same thing, but for Void Linux. Actually, it's a little bit easier to do it on Void Linux because Void Linux doesn't have the AUR. A lot of the packages that I needed for LARBs on Arch were actually in the AUR, which is actually sort of a pain to get. Like, it's a pain to set all the... It's user permission stuff and stuff like that. But um, So I'm thinking about basically splitting this project in two. And uh, for those of you who use it, you can, of course, still use it. And I'm still going to be updating the dot files from, uh, from before. Oh, by the way, the thing you're watching now... This is actually like the, uh, what is it, the geo, the Gorse, whatever, I don't know what the program's name is, uh, the Gorse visualization of the dot .files repository, so that's what you're seeing. Um, and you can see, like, it, as it goes on, I actually clean a bunch of this junk up. I look at it right now, I have like a separate Vim folder, now I actually have that all automatically downloaded or something like that, but, um, so anyway, I will probably be switch, oh, there it goes, yeah. Okay, um, so I will probably be switching LARBs in the long term to Void Linux, uh, but uh, it's still going to maintain compatibility which, with Arch Linux, and you'll still you're still going to be able to install the Arch Linux version. I'll just probably be updating it less. And one of the reasons that this is sort of an okay for okay thing for me to do is I noticed that I've been changing the configs way less. Like I think the Arch Linux settings with i3 and with all that kind of stuff, I sort of stopped making major changes to them because they were pretty much as good as they I wanted them to be. They were pretty much highly usable. I had a good manual and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, a lot of people have noted like my, if you install LARBs, which isn't really its own distribution. I mean, it's really just, you know, a script on top of a special configs for Arch Linux or whatever. Um, but a lot of people have noted it's arguably better documented than a lot of other like actual distributions because I put like a whole other readme and all this kind of junk in it. Um, but uh, so anyway, the void Linux version you can get right now, but it doesn't have the documentation and I'm still messing with the builds mainly for uh, surf and DWM. So I'll be making lots of changes to those. So you can install the void Linux version today right now if you want. But, um, you know, it's there. It's not really gonna I, I, I I'm a little I guess cautious about it just because it's hard for me to it, it's always been hard for me to tell people how to update because you really have to know how to use git and uh, some of it can depend on whatever but excuse me uh, but yeah the void linux if you just want to play with it you can get the void linux version again just goes go to larbs.xyz for all that kind of stuff and um, now anyway i'll be doing other videos on 
DWM and other things that I'm actually you if you've used LARBs before you know you can actually um, you can like stream videos from my YouTube channel with like a, a menu inside but I'm gonna be doing more stuff like that and uh, I need to do the equivalents for DWM and that kind of things but uh, anyway once I do that it'll be totally done and there'll be an official release but that's gonna be all for now so I'll see you guys next time